Welcome back to Driven by Wine. Today we have an experiment that is one of my favorites. So we are pairing two different wines with ribs. Cook these ribs on the Weber kettle today. Uh, they're sauced with your typical tomato-based sauce with a rub on them. So uh, your standard barbecue, I would say, Jennifer? Sure. Yeah. So what I want to do is see which wine pairs best. And of course, this is my humble opinion, so you could be different, but uh, what I'm doing today is we have a Pinot Noir from Oregon on the lighter side of the spectrum. So the reason we chose an Oregon Pinot is because it's earthy, typically, um, over you know fruity, bright red cherry fruit, all of that. And then over here, we have a Rioja. So this is Marquez de Murrieta, 2015, and this is Arath, Oregon. <laughs> Gotta silence your phone, man, before you start the vids. Um, so really, I, you know, what holds up better? Is it the more robust, heavy, bold wine, or is it the lighter, uh, more nuanced wine? So let's go ahead and dive in. My mouth has been watering all day. It took about four hours for these guys to cook, I know. I know. My son is heading towards the wine rack. He's father like son. Father like son. Yeah, that's good. Just enough smoke flavor. I did some apple for applewood. So let's start with the pinot. Let's start with the light, and we'll move over to. Ooh, a little spice on that at the end. I blended a spicy barbecue with a normal barbecue. Perfect amount of heat at the end. So you picked these up from Costco. Costco. Yep. Okay. Do you remember about how much this one was? So they're both $18, $19. So cool. same price range. Perfect. Well done. Thank you. Well done. We have my parents over tonight to enjoy these ribs with us. They're playing <laughs> playing with our son in the background. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so starting with the Arath. That's a good wine, very good wine. Again, your typical Oregon Pinot. So, uh, you know, Pinot grape, light, uh, not so much tannin, but definitely has that earthy quality to it since it's Oregon. That's just good eats. Don't sue me out in brown, please. Did you say good eats? Yeah. My, one of my favorite shows growing up. Just a good, wholesome, scientific-based, kind of like this, the experiments. That's what I loved about them. So this pairs really, really well. Um, the one thing that is, when I'm curious how it's going to be with the Rioja is there's definitely an acidity to this that is it's not overpowering but it's there and it's it's bold so I, I'm curious if this uh, I know it's gonna have a little less acidity will pair differently let's try it let's, try it. let's give it a shot Marques De Marietta. Not to be confused with Marietta. <laughs> Not to be confused with Marietta. Actually, that's what I thought about when I read. Yeah. Uh, Reserva 2015. Oh my gosh. I mean, what a massive difference. This is clay. This is. I mean, it's hard to pull fruit out of this guy. It is so earthy and, I mean, clay. It's, that's crazy. Let's give it a shot. That's interesting. Do you immediately have a favorite? My gut, yeah. Yeah. Um, but, as we know, you gotta, you sometimes going. the gut's, gut is, is, True and is is the one, but sometimes it's not. 
Kind of like you do with me, right, babe? Right. You had to test it, but your gut was right. My gut was right, I guess. You guess? Guys, this is why it's so fun, and I would encourage you guys to do this at home, to pair different wines with foods, challenge yourself, challenge the wines, see what you like better. And the best way to do that is to get two bottles together like this and do it back to back. Otherwise, it's really hard to go back in the past and kind of pull out flavors from something you had weeks ago. So that is a very balanced, very delicious Rioja, but it is so unique. I mean, the earthiness, the clay, the it is so overpowering um, that for this, I've got to go with the Arath Pinot. Okay. It, it, it pairs, the flavors of this complement the pork better, complement the sauce better. This is a delicious one. And it what is. What would you eat that with? Drink that with? Eat with that. This needs something. <laughs> what would you eat that with? <laughs> Just <like> that. <laughs> this needs something big to, to go with it. I'm, I'm thinking like a short rib pasta. Oh. Like it needs, it needs something that can hang with the funk and craziness that this thing's got going on. But delicious wine and so cool to see that put up against sort of the fresh fruit. Oh my gosh, especially tasting, back, tasting them back to back. You really, really get it. So there you go, guys. Two wines, ribs, Pinot wins this round. We're gonna keep doing this. Let me know what wines you think pair best with ribs. Come back to this, try it. We've done it with steak. We're gonna continue to do it with more and more foods and see if we can find the best pairing. Thanks guys for tuning in to Driven by Wine. Cheers.